Hello and welcome back to IXL Tutorials. This is Mr. Duffick and today we are continuing on with our transformations set of IXLs. Continuing on with uh, L3 specifically, which is uh, translations and writing the coordinates of your newly translated shapes. So your problems are going to look just like this. Uh, they're very similar to the problems you saw in L2, except now instead of uh, drawing out the shapes, you're going to write the coordinates. So I'd recommend just doing uh, point by point and working your way from there. So this problem is saying we have our triangle and we want to translate the triangle five units to the right. Okay, we'll start with T and we'll count one, two, three, four, five. Right there, it looks like we end up at negative one, two, three, one, two, three, negative one, two, three, and then and we maintain ourselves at negative four there. So we'll write negative three here. We maintain uh, negative four. Then we go down to U and we're going to five to the right. Now you could count like I just did, but as you saw, it might be a little slow. Uh, so what you can do is you can say, well, if we're going five to the right, that's five in the positive X direction. So our, our uh, X coordinate is gonna get five, uh, five more large or just five more. So if we start at negative seven and we add five to that, again, five units to the right, we end up at negative two. And then our Y coordinate is staying the same, so negative four. Again, you could count, you can go one, two, three, four, five. And you can see we end up at negative two and negative four. Again, if the counting is easier for you, do that. If not, uh, if you can do it quicker, or more efficiently, that's fine too, just as long as you're getting the right answers and you're understanding what you're doing. So then we go down to V, and if we're going five to the right, I'm just gonna add five to the negative eight and get to negative three. And then the negative 10 is staying the same. Good, okay. Uh, now let's translate the next one. So it looks like we are translating one to the right and six up, which uh, you can write and uh, instead of doing the counting, you can just add one to the X and then add six to the Y. So for instance, over here, uh, we start at negative five and negative eight uh, at point F right here. So if we added one to negative five, we get negative four and six up for the Y. So if we add six to the Y, we go from negative eight to a negative two. Okay, again, you can count if you want, but this seems to be a little easier for me and maybe for a lot of you as well. So the rule is, uh, let's see, plus one to the right, so x, so negative five becomes negative four, and then negative five plus six is a positive one. Negative three plus one is negative two, and negative four plus six is a positive two. Submit. Good. Okay, uh, let me skip a couple to see if there's any other variation. No, it does not look like uh, any other variation here. It does not let me go any higher. So this is uh, probably one of the more difficult problems you would see, which it's really just the exact same thing, right? This one is saying uh, three units right and three units down, meaning three units uh, higher in the X direction and three units lower in the Y direction. So uh, we're gonna add three to each of the X's and subtract three from each of the Y's. So one plus three is four. Now do the X's this time. So one plus three is four. 5 plus 3 is 8, 1 plus 3 is 4, and negative 3 plus 3 is 0. Okay, now we're going to subtract negative 3 because we're going down 3 units for each of the y's. So negative 7 minus 3 is negative 10, 1 minus 3 is negative 2, 2 minus 3 is a negative 1, and 1 minus negative 3 is negative 2. So if you were to plot all of these points out, you see that we successfully have translated this, uh, this shape three to the right and three down. There we go, okay? That is where I'm gonna stop. Again, pretty simple. You can either do the counting or you can uh, add the X's uh, and Y's together uh, based off of the translation rule. Okay, take care and good luck, goodbye.